you've got a U.2 NVMe drive, and you need the convenience, you need to be able to plug it into something easily through USB, IC dock, apply directly to the head. This is model MB931U-1VB. It's a USB to M.2 adapter. The only reason I want to mention this is because this kind of thing, like if you're into servers and administration and stuff like that, it can save your butt. When something goes sideways and you need to image something or do something, I mean, there have been times in my life where I was helping somebody that had like a RAID array crash and it was easier to work with disk images than the disks themselves. And so using something like this, I would take the damaged disks and image what I could off of them and then try various things at reassembling them. It's actually a pretty common technique when your RAID controller fails and you don't know exactly what the parameters were in the RAID controller and the RAID controller doesn't make it easy to you know, guess like what the stripe size was or anything like that. You can actually use tools to take those images and do stuff with it. So you can use this with your NVMe drives, your U.2 NVMe drives that you might find in a server. I've tested it with the Persnickety, you know, Intel P4500s. They're not exactly standards adhering. There's some quirks for them that are in the Linux kernel, and it works fine with those. Also works fine with the Intel Optane SSDs. And this will operate at 10 gigabit. That's right, you can clear about one gigabyte per second because it's compatible with USB 3.2 Gen 2 that's 10 gigabit. You can use it, of course, on the backward compatible five gigabit ports, but it supports fast transfer rates. Crystal disk mark, you know, we've got the, the, the random IOPS, you know, like even the little 4K IOPS. It's pretty reasonable speed. Now, of course, native is gonna be faster if you plug it in because USB's got kind of a lot of overhead with it. But as far as USB peripherals goes, this is pretty darn good. This is about as good as it gets. So if you wanna be able to use your U.2 drives with this, not a problem. Here's your dock, this works. It's reliable, at least so far in my testing. Now, if you've got M.2, I've got the Kyoxia, Kyoxia. Uh, formerly Toshiba memory systems, but now Kyoxia. This is one terabyte. This is the smallest form factor M.2 that you get. This is PCI Express. This thing can clear two gigabytes per second. It's like three and a half watts or less, pretty much in all operational scenarios. So if you want to, you know, this is already basically the size of a USB stick. If you want to interface with this, or you need to read some information off of this conveniently, then this adapter will work for you if you also throw in IC Docs U.2 to M.2 adapter. So here you can see we've got our U.2 connector on the adapter, the world's smallest PCB, and then we have a convenient M.2 connector. The thing that I like about this PCB design is that it breathes. So the bottom here is open. I mean, these little things, even if they're three or four watts, they'll get warm, they need adequate cooling. But with this, you can use up to an 80 millimeter, you know, M.2 in here. I've got my, uh, my awesome Lilliputian uh, M.2 drive in here, which is really awesome, but also got ye olde, you know, 80 millimeter, which is a little more standard. Now this carrier is plastic. So it's not really good in terms of heat dissipation, but the top of the drive, this is aluminum. And actually included in the package is a nice thick thermal pad. So you'll have a good thermal contact between your M.2 and this. Truth be told, I'd rather have this kind of a format, especially those really high performance M.2 drives that you know exist. I would rather take the really high performance M.2, put it in this form factor and cool it adequately. The problem becomes PCI Express 4. A lot of those high, high performance M.2s are PCI Express 4. Everything here is PCI Express 3. Really, PCI Express 2 would be fine because you're bandwidth limited by the USB side of things and it should actually operate at a lower frequency just from a power saving standpoint. But even this, this adapter is only PCI Express 3 compatible that I found in my testing. But this is convenient if you have a server form factor. You know, you have a, an older one terabyte drive that dies. It's like, ah, we're gonna retire that server in a year or two. I'm just gonna use something that's, you know, not quite an enterprise, but enterprise-ish. You can use this to limp along for a little while and, and then it pretty well just clamps together. And that's it. This is the IC Dock EZ Convert. And it really was EZ. The only thing that wasn't easy about it was when I went off script and had the little tiny U.2s from Kyoxia, but uh, if you use the big ones, it's toolless, which is it's always a nice touch. So if you use U.2 drives in the work that you do and you need a convenient, reliable USB adapter, you should check out the options from IC Dock. They're pretty solid. I'm Wendell, this is Level 1, signing out, and I'll see you later.
Oh, there's a sticker here. It says plug and play. What does it say under the sticker? Plug and plague. <laughs>